Well, I just left the House floor and I voted uh, against the so-called stimulus package. Uh, obviously, it's not going to stimulate anything other than the growth of uh, big government. Uh, it looks like uh, it will not be difficult to pass. Uh, the Democrats have the vote. But one thing I can say about the Republicans, they have stuck together and they've given some good speeches. It's, to me, it's just a shame they didn't start talking like this and voting like this about eight years ago. Then we'd be a lot better off. But anyway, they're doing the right thing right now and they're opposing it. And uh, to me, that's uh, very good. But you know, one thing in this uh, particular bill that nobody seems to be talking about is the increase in the national debt. They increased the national debt by $789 billion, almost a, uh, almost a trillion dollars. And uh, now the national debt limit is over $12 trillion. But this day and age, people are just passing, spending this money and hardly even thinking about it. They deal with trillions like they used to deal with billions. So uh, it's, uh, it means a lot of trouble down, down the road. But, you know, the process of this uh, legislation was uh, uh, a little bit more annoying than most of the things that we do here. This bill turned out to be over a thousand pages. My staff had no chance to read any of it until 1230 last night which means that somebody would have had to step all night reading it, which would have been impossible because there was no complete version, no printed version. There were only four hard copies, of, uh, five hard copies available to the House of Representatives. I couldn't have even gotten a copy of it if I had wanted to. And uh, it is still, some of the bill is still in hand handwriting. Uh, so this, uh, this to me is just an atrocious way uh, to, to legislate. And uh, another part of the process that annoys me to no end is that I know you, many of you have heard about what was in the bill and I could get more information from the news than I could from my staff or the staff of the committees but what happens is conservative staffers who know a little bit about a bill will leak a large portion of the bill to certain groups in the same way with the Liberal Democrats. There's only about 20 people in the whole Senate and the Congress who really deal and know anything that's going on, but outsiders actually get to get an opportunity to look at this before we get it. So it is an atrocious way to legislate, but I guess that's appropriate. They're doing atrocious legislating, and then what they're doing is to be atrocious, running up the debt like this and printing the money and just placing this burden on, uh, on the American people. But quite frankly, this cannot be helpful to the economy long term. This is a, doing exactly what uh, they've been doing for many, many decades and the reason we're in this mess. Someday, though, I think the American people will wake up out of necessity because the bankruptcy of the country is at our doorstep and the destruction of the dollar is the thing that will finally wake us up.